So guys, since Arrow Season 7 is on its mid-season break, I asked you guys to ask me a bunch of questions relating to Arrow Season 7, so let's dive straight into this Q&A. <laughs> What is up vigilantes welcome to an arrow season 7 q a video so naturally as arrow is on break returning in january but obviously we've got a little bit of time not so much news coming out so naturally there's some questions about where we could be going with arrow what's happened in the first part of the season and just stuff that you may want to know my thoughts about so a lot of you went over to the community tab of my youtube channel asked me a bunch of questions i've selected quite a few so this video might be kind of long but by all means you know it's a q a you can literally drop off that any question but the thing is i have freaking gone through and answered every single one of these questions but guess what boba forgot to press the record button on this microphone so i am a little bit pissed off but what can you do what can you do if there are some more questions that i don't get to answer i might do a part two of this towards new year maybe uh, like i might be doing with my flash q a which i did a part one to that will be in the cards above plus titans finale is uh, or has already gone by the time this video is out. So we'll be doing a Titans Q&A. So head over to my community tab if you want to ask a question for any of those shows. But let's dive straight into number one again. Already answered this question, as I said, but you don't know that. So let's hope I can answer it just as good the second time round. So Taco Friday, do you think that William will actually adopt the name Connor Hawk in the future timeline and become the new Green Arrow? So short answer, no. Uh, long answer because I just I think maybe way back in early season seven when we were first seeing the flash forward scenes I think we all thought the possibility that or at least I was and I know a few other people were thinking could William or are they setting up William to be this kind of somehow future Connor Hawkey kind of person if Arrow ends this season or something like that even if it goes on for further right but then again once we've got to know William throughout obviously the storyline you kind of realize that He's way more techie, so he'd be like a techie-based hero. I couldn't imagine him, and I wouldn't really want to believe it, because I don't like it when TV shows do this. If he just got good with a bow, and he's already stated that he's bad with a bow, he can't fire one. So if they just trained him, or Roy trained him just out of nowhere, to be, and then like, the show ends for, as him to be the new Green Arrow, I wouldn't really buy it. So I don't think they're going to do that with him. Uh, plus, you know, we've got the whole Connor Hawk thing, and I don't really like bringing the whole Legends of Tomorrow stuff up because there's loads of plot holes of stuff like that, but John Diggle Jr. Uh, was Connor Hawk, and interestingly enough, um, there has been a photo taken of the Flash Forward crew, you know, with Dinah, Roy, William, and blah, 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 with John Diggle Jr. coming back, so that is very interesting. Is he going to maintain a Connor Hawk name, or that's what he calls himself? We're going to have to wait and see, and that's why I don't think William will be, uh, or adopt the name Connor Hawk. But moving on to question two, so from Toby Case, uh, what do you think Stanley will do when he comes back? Do you think he will try and kill Oliver or come after someone he loves? If you think he will come after someone he loves, who do you think that will be? So they definitely tease that Stanley uh, would probably be coming back because as we know, he escaped slab side uh, and I think we all assumed he would be coming back uh, maybe as a couple of part villain, maybe. I don't see him being like a back half proper multiple episode villain. If they did that, it would have to be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think he'll come after Oliver, like, especially as everyone knows he's the Green Arrow now, um, so you'd have to think he might, I would have to place it as Felicity. Sure, he could go after the Green Arrow's gang, and I, he might be able to figure out who they are, but the closest person to Oliver is Felicity, uh, other than that, William, and I don't think young William's gonna be coming back to the show anytime soon, so, yeah, I, I would expect... Stanley, I don't think they would do the child kind of related murdering-esque kind of comic book storyline that he has from the comics. It will be more kind of revenge as to maybe Oliver not wanting to be his freaking Green Arrow friend or, you know, Stanley to be his sidekick. Uh, but the next question is from Bingo Boy. And you asked, do you think Arrow will get worse now that Oliver is out of prison? So this is a very interesting question. And I say interesting because I remember a lot of people saying, oh, they want the prison storyline to be over with and they want Oliver to come out. Uh, I was I was roundabout ready for when Oliver got out of slab side for that to happen. If it went on any further, I would have been like, okay, I kind of want him to get out now. Uh, but the thing is, now I'm a little bit apprehensive of Arrow's, um, you know, because he is publicly Green Arrow now, and I don't have a problem with that. It was just the way they went about how he risked 
being a vigilante again, just off the helm of Diner saying, oh, trust me, like, we'll make you an SCPD cop or, you know, advisor, so you'll be fine. I didn't buy that in the mid-season finale. I really didn't like it, to be honest. Now, I do admit having an arrow cop is kind of badass, but I, what I will say is, honestly, with the f season starting off so strong, kicking last season's ass, I am actually apprehensive about how it's going to unfold with Oliver being the public green arrow cop uh, in Star City. I don't think it will get worse. I hope it doesn't. But I am, as I said, apprehensive of it. Next question from The Flash, the fast reviewer live. Do you think Oliver will wear his mask again? So related to kind of the last question. I want him to, but with the logic of it now, with him literally literally being the public Green Arrow, everyone knows their previous mayor <laughs> was is now the Green Arrow. Um, there's no need for it. He already made a point of that, like through him not even wearing the hood, let alone the mask and just going out with, you know, Oliver's very short haircut and face very wide open. Hi, my name's Oliver. I'm the Green Arrow. Um, but I want him to. It looks cooler with the highway man like mask he's got on there uh, and the hood up. Uh, but I don't know. This is what I was saying in regards to my last question. Arrow's like entered this new place where they can't go back now. The whole city's not going to forget who Oliver Queen, like the who the Green Arrow is. So maybe he could just put it on and everyone still knows that's Oliver Queen. I hope so. But they might stick to him not wearing it. We're going to have to wait and see. Ryan M, uh, is Malcolm Merlin still alive? I want him to be. And I will say the unofficial rules of television is, you know, if somebody to die, you have to see it on screen. We did not see that. We, we didn't see it. Um, now, I don't know what story is left for him though. That's the only thing. I think they've said that he's dead. But, you know, if they ever did want him to bring him back, they, they easily could because they didn't show it on screen. Uh, but as I said, we're, we're several seasons into Arrow now, literally season seven. It could end season eight, end of season eight. Like what, how are they going to squeeze him in unless it's Thea related or something like that? But then again, it will feel like we're replicating a previous storyline. So I don't really know what's left for Malcolm other than like appearances like what we saw in Elseworlds. So David Nikolic uh, asks, how do you think, Ar how long do you think Arrow will last? And I honestly think, I think season eight, it could easily go for season eight. Season seven could be its last, you never know. But I think season eight. Uh, but I tell you what, I, I will be surprised. I will I will actually be surprised if it got a season nine. Uh, it would be awesome, but I would be like, fair play. Like, fair play, Arrow, you got to nine seasons. I expect it to end season eight, maybe. Um, but yeah, bottom line, season nine would be surprising for me. So Vin Logs asks, do you think the future will for sure be like they are showing in the flash forward scenes, or could they change it somehow? Uh, so they've actually already come out and said that these flash forward scenes are 100% concrete. Like, um, there's no time travel, there's no time manipulation. Sure, the Flash can do stuff like that. And when I've spoke about this before as well, um, I've had people say, oh no, but look, look, something on the Flash show could easily change something in Arrow. Like, trust me, like, it's not final. It is. It. They're not going to do a massive change even via another show. Unless Crisis on Infinite Earths does something dramatic. But then it would kind of make everything from, from the flash forward scenes we're seeing right now redundant. Like, why bother if it's all going to change? So, I honestly believe the time is fixed. It really is. 20 years in the future, everything we're seeing is fixed. And, uh, you know, this has also created a lot of problems for fans, including myself. As much as I find these scenes intriguing, I really loved them at the beginning. But then it dawned upon me that they are problematic because you're seeing every character, well, not every character yet, but most of our cast in the future. It, it removes any excitement or tension for their characters because it's like, oh, if Dinah gets kidnapped in present day and they're trying to make you believe that her life could be over, it's like, no, she'll be fine. She's in the future, 20 years in the future. Same with Roy, blah, 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 William, Zoe, everyone like that, uh, and whoever else might appear. That might be why they're not including Oliver Queen in it, because show your main character, it will be borderline like saying, and I don't want to be one of those people like, you know, oh, what's the point of the present day scenes if you're doing the flash forward scenes? Because there is a point, because there's a story in the middle to get to where, you know, where it's going to be in the future, but don't do that. Like, please don't show me more about what these characters are going to be completely fine because of plot armor. So do you know what I mean? Like, everything in the future is concrete, and that's why, with your other question, could they change it somehow? Apparently not. Next question is from uh, Spaniel1997, and you asked, do you enjoy the direction they are taking Felicity or not so much? Will Black Siren's redemption continue? Will she go back to the dark side or stay kinda an anti-hero? Thanks. Well, thank you for submitting a question. So... 
Do I enjoy the uh, direction they're taking Felicity or not so much? Um, yes, I do. As long as there's not a whole bunch of like, Oliver, you know, you know, you know what I mean by the wobbly Felicity voice shaking serious stuff. Like, I don't really enjoy that. It does cringe me out a little bit. You know, you know what I mean? As, and also if they shove the LST part of it in our face, like, you know, when Oliver went back to the apartment, the, the Archer guy came in, they were arguing, that kind of stuff. But I think they'll get over it. But, you know, the point of the flash forward scenes is to show where our present day characters and their current decisions they're making are impacting them in the future. Or, like, you get to see that unfold. So I only assume there's going to be more dark Felicity coming in the future, despite, I think, her being a double bluffy kind of person uh, in the future. And she didn't want to destroy Star City. She wants to save it, so she was faking it. Faked her death, even. We'll have to wait and see there. But I still think Felicity will get a bit darker. As long as it's not cringy and Elicity in my face, I'll be fine with it. Black Siren's Redemption. Yes, I think that will continue. I don't think she'll go back to the dark side. I think she might be more anti-hero-esque, but I don't think they're going to regress her character like like how they've done it before. They've shown her a bit good, but then she completely screwed it up by doing some kind of decision. She is now on the path to redemption, and they've made that very clear this season, and I'm really looking forward to it. So Dinosaur asks, how do you think the show will transition into more flash-forward scenes? So I'm not really sure what you mean there. I mean, I guess, like, of course they're going to carry it on, uh, like for the back half of this season and I'm guessing the next season because with these flash forward scenes being concrete in the timeline like they're not going to change if they did then what the hell they've already said they're not going to but you know with telling a present day story it, it's no different to how each season oh new villain another story it's relentless right they, you could have stories forever until a tv show gets cancelled same with having the future scenes because in that future you can still have problems that arise to have their own story go on and on and on and on uh so in theory i think they will uh transition into more flash forward scenes naturally they're going to try and keep these two stories going just like how we had flashbacks for ages now we're having flash forwards there's always going to be more stories in the future in regards to william diner and crew finding out more and everything like that however though if they do like finish the show the flash forward scenes will transition into a perfect wrap up for the show also giving us some closure 20 years into the future so next question is from mr man guy do you think that whatever argus is doing will make diggle and curtis rejoin team arrow eventually so yeah this is an inkling i've kind of had all season uh whenever there's been like that dodgy moment where diggle is just like questioning what like an argus person like higher up is telling him or you know, just this whole stuff with Lila and Diggle anyway. I've always thought it's like you would have to think that it would be the kind of splinter to, to let them return to the OG Team Arrow. I think everyone won, wants that back to how it was. Even though this has been cool, I think to have it segregated, because they're still in the show just as much, but to have it segregated continuously would be a shame because we all want Team Arrow back. So yeah, I think something to do with this Argus storyline will make Diggle and everyone go a bit like, oh, F this, like I'm out of here kind of thing. Especially if Argus is corrupt or something. And the next Diggle related question to this is from Adam Grunter. And you ask, do you think Diggle requesting help from Diaz is going to impact his friendship with Oliver and Felicity in a major way? Uh, yes, I think Oliver will be more forgiving because he's done a lot of shady stuff on behalf of what he knows to be right for Star City. Uh, within itself i think that's what diggle and lila are doing for the good of argus uh but you'd have to think that diaz wants something in return i would be so surprised if it was like early release like what the hell you're releasing this guy you just put away for exchange of some information i would be what would that really happen but either way they're gonna have to give him something i suppose and I don't think Felicity will take that well at all. The reason she is like she is the way she is now is because of Diaz. So when she finds out that Diggle is, is kind of gone by her back and maybe helped out Diaz, you know, in, in exchange for something, then she's going to be a bit triggered. So next question is from Gimme Some. Uh, you asked, do you think Roy will be Arsenal again or even become Red Arrow? Have a new costume and all that jazz. So I think there's a lot of story in Arrow uh, in regards to Roy, that they've teased us with just him even being in the flash forward scenes. So he's got like a whole new vigilante like esque armor there that's very worn. Um, now, I do think that means that whatever he did in the past, that he's a bit like shady about returning to Star City and what he did or like what happened. They've teased a lot of stuff going on with that. 
So I think there is a lot of story um, left for Roy in present day. Now, I don't know when we'll see him return, if we will. I think we would have to, because something evidently went down. So in theory, he could be like Arsenal again, or like maybe a red arrow. But I think with the whole copycat green arrow now being re revealed as Oliver's sister, when she comes into the fold eventually, I think she will be like the new Speedy or something like that. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. But for sure, there could be two spots for both of them on the team in present day. And if we get a season eight. Josh Green asks, do you like that Ricardo Diaz is the main villain? I like the actor. So yeah, um, there isn't necessarily a main villain this season. Also, Stephen Amell kind of teased on Twitter in the sense that what if there is no main villain? I think it's, and I think that is actually the way it is. So Ricardo Diaz is, you know, did come into the season from last season. He is a series regular now, so he still will be in the back half. But I think this season's a little bit about something different. It's attacking multiple different problems. It's not one overarching villain. So um, I don't think he is the main villain, but I do like Ricardo Diaz as well a lot. Um, and I think, you know, there's a lot of story left with him and Argus and what he's going to do there with the whole Diggle thing. Survival asks, do you agree with him operating with SCPD or should he go back to just being off a vigilante? So as I voiced kind of earlier, or I can't even remember, was it my previous recording? I'm not a big fan of, I am a fan of like Arrow Cop in a way, but the way they've done it, I'm not necessarily a fan of, and it feels a bit strange to me. I'm willing to see obviously where it goes. Back half of this season could be just as as good, if not better than the first half, but I don't know how I feel about Oliver Queen, the green arrow being known and now maskless, no hood. He might put his hood up again. Who knows? Probably will, but no mask. Might put it on again. Who knows? I hope he does, but I don't know, man. It just feels almost too different. That It almost feels like this show is kind of ending. Or, it, like, even if they do get a season 8, I, as, that's why I said I'd be surprised if there was a season 9. Just because it is, f like, different feels now. But I think it will be still really cool. Um, him being Arrow Cop, still known by Star City. But I, if I had a choice, I would kind of revert it back if it's not going to be as good as it was before. So Brinker20 asks, do you think the copycat arrow will be the new arrow? No, because like Oliver is the green arrow now, just like working publicly in Star City. As I said kind of earlier, I think that the, you know, Miko Queen, Oliver's sister, uh, once she's got over some stuff or once they figure out their problems, will kind of um, be let into the fold if she wants to. And I think that will naturally happen. And she might be she might be like a speedy or like a red arrowy kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, even though she might be a little bit stubborn to give up that green suit of hers because, you know, she has been posing as a copycat green arrow. So we'll have to wait and see there. But no, she's not going to be the new arrow. But aside from that, guys, I think this video is around, could be like around 20 minutes. So I'm going to cut it off here. Uh, if there is a bunch more questions and you guys want to see another part, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll post that maybe before New Year or something like that. Uh, but I hope you enjoy this video. Either way, let let me know your opinions on my opinions on the questions uh, because that will be start a really interesting conversation to see all of our different answers to the various questions or just pick your favorite question that I was asked and let me know what you thought of my thoughts, whether you agree, disagree. But other than that, everyone, like the video. If you did enjoy, subscribe to the channel for more Arrow stuff and everything like that. Obviously, there'll be reviews once the show comes back in January. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you vigilantes in the next video. Goodbye.